Corey Basden, and this is Sailor, who is four years old and diagnosed with Syngap in July. We live in Eastern North Carolina, and by day I sell advertising and nighttime I work with the Syngap Research Fund. I volunteer my time because I, I believe that we can truly find a cure for these kiddos, and um, I feel the more people working on it, the better chances they have. So I truly appreciate everything they do and try to give back as much as I can. Hello. 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 Can you say hello? Hello. My name is Alexis Edward and uh, I live in Orlando, Florida. I'm a rental property owner and manager and this is Naya. She's four and a half. She was diagnosed just after her third birthday. Uh, I work as part of the diversity and inclusion team at SRF. And I do it because I'm passionate about it and because uh, I care a lot about these children and the adults with Syngap. Thanks. Hi, I'm Aaron. And I'm Monica Harding. And we're from San Diego, California. And our son Jackson is 16 and was diagnosed in 2015. I'm a director of a clinical laboratory for a large healthcare system. And I'm Jackson's mom. I've been involved with Syngap Research Fund since its founding and currently serving on the board. I too am involved with SRF and I'm involved with patient engagement. Where connection is everything. Hi, I'm Dan Robert. And I'm Jen Robert and we are from Greenville, South Carolina. And our daughter Elsie is three and a half. She has Syngap 1 and was diagnosed in July of 2020. Shortly after that, we got involved in the SRF community and I started volunteering with working on the website. And I currently serve on the board of directors and I'm also a volunteer working on design and merchandise. And we just wanna say that we're super grateful for this community and we thank you for your support. Thank you. I'm Lauren Perry. I live in Northern Colorado. I'm mom to William and Colin. Um, Will was diagnosed with Syngap 1 in 2016 when he was six. He's 11 now. Um, it's a long road, especially in the beginning when Syngapians are little. It's very hard. I remember it well. Um, things still aren't that easy, but I work and volunteer for SRF. I really can't think of a better place to be since it consumes my life, Syngap. And it's a really great group of people to work for, work with, help, and I think we're going to cure Syngap 1. And my name is Deanna Farley. I live in San Jose, California, about half an hour away from the SRF headquarters in Palo Alto. I am currently a program supervisor for a behavioral therapy company. Prior to this, I was Tony Gralia's nanny from 2016 to 2020. I was there for his Syngap 1 diagnosis in 2018. I'm happy to say that I run the Wednesday Warrior program with SRF. Hi, my name is Peter Halliburton and our family lives in McKinney, Texas, a suburb north of Dallas. I'm in cybersecurity sales professionally. Uh, our son Carter is four years old and was diagnosed just after his second birthday with Syngap 1. Uh, I quickly jumped on board with Syngap Research Fund, volunteering around fundraising to help accelerate research and therapies for Syngap 1 patients. Hi, my name is Sydney Stelmashek and I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with my family. My Syngapian's name is Emmett. He's four years old and he got diagnosed with Syngap 1 at about 18 months old. I volunteer with SRF because I know that there's something out there that's gonna make a huge difference in the lives of our kids and our loved ones who are affected by Syngap 1. And I've come to admire, respect, and trust the leadership of our organization, knowing that they're doing great work and that they're also making a place at the table for anyone to contribute who wants to. Hi, my name is Caitlin. I am from New Jersey. My Syngapian is actually my sister. Her name is Ashley. She is 28 and she was just diagnosed three months ago, so in September, with Syngap. I assist with the fundraising in SRF. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Gralia and I live in Northern California. My Syngapian, Tony, is seven, almost eight, and he was diagnosed just after his fourth birthday. The reason I volunteer for SRF is because I need to know that every day something is happening to get us closer to a therapy or a cure for Tony because this disease is terrible and we need to reduce his suffering, we need to reduce our suffering as his caregivers. I love my son and I will keep working with SRF for as long as it takes to make him better. 
Hey, I'm Ashley Fry. I live in Oxford, Mississippi with my family. My husband is Kevin. We have Liam, who's five, and Nathan, who's four. He's our Syngapian. He was diagnosed about a year ago, and I volunteer with SRF in a number of ways. Um, I do a lot of help with social media strategy and um, fundraising. I manage our TikTok page, and we'll be breaking into the world of podcasting. So get ready to see, or I guess hear, a new voice. Thanks, guys. Also a board member and the mother of Amelia, she's six and she was diagnosed with Singap 1 in 2018. We are original from Colombia, South America, but we live in Florida. We have been living in Florida for 15 years. I am thankful for being part of this amazing group of families that support each other in this journey and also the opportunity to support the families in Latin America and the Hispanic uh, families in the U.S. to build this community. Thank you. Syngap mom to Drew, who's 14 years old. Drew was diagnosed with Syngap at the age of five. He was one of the first cases to be diagnosed in the United States. Uh, we were very happy to find an answer to explain his pervasive developmental delay. So as soon as Drew had received a diagnosis, I started looking into research and started advocating uh, for Syngap awareness. Uh, when Syngap Research Fund was formed, I jumped on board right away, uh, both volunteering and serving on the board to reach our goal to find a cure. My name is Marta De Gia. I live in Texas. I work as a physician and uh, I have a 19 years old daughter with Syngap who was diagnosed in 2013. The reason why I volunteer in SRF is because I believe in the mission and the people inside SRF. We are all here to improve the quality of life of our Singapians and find the cure. Hi, my name is Sandy Smith. I'm from Boston, Mass. I'm an IT analyst at an area hospital and an SRF volunteer and donor. I'm also a proud auntie to five-year-old Syngapian Myla Tavilla, who was diagnosed at two years, nine months. Please consider a donation to Syngap Research Fund. They are laser focused on the research and the science that is going to cure Syngap 1. Thank you.